What, what do you think churches and ministries, their takeaway from, from seeing how Dropbox has handled this, what, what do you think their takeaway from a marketing and communication uh, strategy or perspective is? Yeah, again, it's, um, it's being transparent. I think it's an acknowledgement that we're never going to get every single thing right, that there are times that things are going to fall apart, things that are unforeseen. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Dropbox did not plan to delete 27,000 of my files, um, right? And so it's just that the humanity of the situation of being real authentic and being vulnerable that says, hey, I'm sorry, or uh, we understand, or even just listening to the other party saying, hey, wh- how has this affected you? It might not. I might have had triple redundancy, and this is, this is a you know, they might not have even had to give me a year's credit, right? Uh, I might have declined that. Um, just because they reached out to me, right? So there's, I think in, in terms of ministry, it's the same thing. It's having that communications available, especially in times of crisis and especially in times when there's a, a glitch or a blip on the radar. Um, it's just a good lesson to, to learn here that um, you have a relationship. It, you know, sometimes when we scale, especially in, from organizational perspective in large organizations, even if you, you know, even if you have a small church too, um, there is this sort of notion that, oh, we, we're the institution and then they're the people. And yet at the end of the day, people deal with people. And so we, I think we need to remember that and figure out how to be transparent. How do, how do we go that extra mile in terms of um, really recognizing that the other person on the other side of the relationship with the organization is a human being and, and that we're all in it together. 